So this Dark Phoenix idea was obviously very heavily set up at the end of Apocalypse. How mm. has um, that idea changed from what you originally had when you wrote that to what you've delivered now and you taking over? And sure. Uh, I mean, I actually would say that the Dark Phoenix idea was 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 set up in um, the end of Days of Future Past. In changing the timeline in Days of Future Past, I really part of the reason I did that was I wanted a chance to tell the Dark Phoenix story um, in a more fulsome way, where it's really like the full Dark Phoenix story and it focuses on Jean's story, different than X Men: The Last Stand. Um, my vision for it, uh, I think, is is even going back to Days of Future Past, um, is is pretty consistent because really what I felt when I was thinking about doing eventually a Dark Phoenix story was the idea that um, we would be telling Gene's story, that we would be really focused, that we would we would narrow the scope of the film down, even though there's an intergalactic element and there's a scale and spectacle that you expect from these movies. It really would be a character-driven story about a person, a young woman, a mutant. Um, being imbued with the greatest power in the entire world but not being able to control it. You talk about the Days of Future Past ending. Uh, do you know where from like the end of Dark Phoenix through to that 2021, 2023 setting, do you know broadly what happens there, how, how Wolverine gets involved and what happens with all the characters? I d I, honestly, I have some sense of it, um, yes, because I always feel as though I'm sort of responsible for the architecture of this and making sure that it all lines up. Um, so I do have some sense of it, but I, I really did imagine this movie in truth as the culmination of this cycle of X-Men films. And, and so I wasn't really thinking past this film other than wanting to make sure that the logic was all sound. Um, you mentioned the intergalactic uh, aspect of this, uh, which is even bigger in the comics. Mm -hmm. At what point in your conceptualizing of this did stuff like the Share Empire and all that go away or become less prominent sure. at what point? Well, I felt like uh, early on, I felt like I really wanted to focus the movie on our main characters and I really wanted to focus it on Gene's struggle. I wanted the movie to feel grounded and I wanted it to feel emotional and intimate um, and not have too many things that would distract or take away from Gene's evolution, de-evolution, struggle, um, final decision in this film. I wanted that arc to feel like it was a really emotional experience for the audience. And so things like the Hellfire Club, things like the Shi'ar Empire, felt as though they were such huge subplots or plots from the original saga that they could potentially take away from the focus on Gene and the X-Men. And so instead of doing Lilandra as a character, and folk, which would require the relationship with Charles and all of what comes with that, um, I made Jessica's character sort of an amalgam um, of different um, alien characters uh, that are part of, in a way, resembling the Shi'ar storyline, but not going all the way there. Um, this is obviously a second attempt to adapt uh, the Dark Phoenix saga, which yeah. was already done in The Last Stand. Is there another story that's already been done on film that you would like to get uh, a do-over opportunity on? In the X-Men world, no. I mean, the truth is, this one for me, I really felt um, with X-Men Last Stand, and I say that as one of the writers of that movie, that the what I regretted about it was that a story that is the most epic, the most beloved storyline in all of X-Men comics, potentially all of comics, was sidelined being the B story or the background story of a film instead of being the central story of the movie. And so we're in that movie, the cure plot, you know, obviously became the main plot of the story. And I think Gene uh, Fonka speaks like only a few times in the second half of the film, I really just wanted to wipe that away and create a movie where you are fully focused and invested in Gene um, from start to finish, quite literally. Uh, so, you know, that one was so clear to me it needed to re be retold. Um, I think the other storylines um, in the mainland X-Men movies uh, were, 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 were told well. Um, you know, I think... Um, in terms of other X-Men films or spin-offs, maybe the Weapon X story could be told um, again. Um, you know, Jim Mangold did such an extraordinary job with Logan, and I love it. I don't know how you would do it to like go backward. I don't think you could do it with Hugh, but I do think that the weapon, there's something in the Weapon X story um, that, that would be cool to see. <laughs>